hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you exactly how you can install wordpress locally on your computer whether you are using a mac whether you are using a window or whether you are using a linux uh, this uh, method will work for all of you you need to follow every step i'm going to show you in this video before we go to our video please uh, subscribe and share and also give me a like uh, to my uh, video and youtube channel and i want to encourage you uh, just to subscribe uh, subscribe to my channel and every time i upload any video you will be notified and i'm creating videos on wordpress development so if you are interested in wordpress development uh, i think it's better and uh, i recommend you to to subscribe to this channel and uh, every time any video related to a WordPress uploaded, you will be notified. Thank you for that. So let us go into um, our today's video. Before we start to store WordPress locally on our computer, really I want to share with you some ideas and some reasons why we install WordPress locally in our computer. The first reason for installing WordPress is to test your website. If you have created a new website, and before you take it to live or before you take into the web hosting service, you need to check whether it is uh, working uh, correctly or not. So for that, you need to install WordPress locally on your computer and so that you will check it. And if there is any error, you will fix it there and then you can export your website to the internet. This is the first reason. The second reason is if you are a new to WordPress and you want to know exactly how wordpress is done and how to develop uh, a website using a wordpress i think it's better for you to learn it uh, by installing wordpress locally on your computer for this it is recommended that you install wordpress locally so that you don't need any internet you can do it from everywhere the third one is if you are a developer and you develop a theme or a plugins for wordpress I think it's better again to check or test these plugins and themes locally on your computer and then uh, you are going to check it test it and then uh, finally you can upload it uh, or to make it live so these are the main three reasons why we install wordpress locally on our computer with that said let us go to our today's video there are so many softwares you can use to install wordpress locally for this tutorial uh, we are going to uh, learn how to install WordPress locally using local WP. I'm going to show you exactly how you can download it, how you can install it, how you can re uh, run your WordPress locally on your computer. Please stick together uh, until the end of the, this video and uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe and share and also like my videos. Thank you. Okay, let us start on your Google search bar type local wp.com this is exactly the website we are looking for in order to download the software what we call it the local software it is the number one local wordpress development tool and then i said it says create an account or you can download it from here additionally you if you go at the top uh, right corner you will find a download button so you can use either of the two and i can use this one for example so here click on download then it will request you to choose a platform as i said if you are a mac user windows user or a linux user it is uh, free to download it so i'm currently running on windows and i select this one windows and you can select as uh, according to your operating system you are using the second one is it requests you some information your first name your last name your email address and your phone number and then after entering every information you uh, uh, click on getting to it now so that it will download a software for you without any hassle after the file is downloaded you will get it in the download folder if you are using a window you can follow with me uh, download and then programs to install the software double click on this software okay a uh, window for uh, installation process is coming so two options is given for us for only me and anyone who uses computer if you want to allow anyone who is using your computer 
to use this software you can click on this one or if you want only yourself you can click on this one so i only uh, use this one only for me because i'm using only there is no anyone using my computer so only me for this matter you can select any 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 method which is appropriate for you and then click on next so this is the destination folder or choose installation location it says so this is a, a default location where your your software will be installed you can you can choose anywhere from using this one but i don't want that one just i accept the default one and then if you uh, complete this one and click on install so installation will take some time and you have to be patient waiting for it and then uh, it takes to the next process where we can set up our uh, our uh, software so this is a window uh, coming it says you need to agree to the local terms uh, of services so click on this and i agree here so a new window is coming it says to help make locals a great uh, as you could love if you turn on error reporting so if there is any error it will report to the local i really uh, like that one so turn it on reporting that's good to help them maximize your uh, local software it says welcome to local and uh, at the bottom you will find create a free account button uh, so we don't want to create an account just we want to install wordpress locally so as the, at the top right corner click on this cancel button and so that it will take to uh, the process where we can really start to uh, create our new site before we create a new uh, site we need to set up uh, the router so at the top left corner you'll find the three horizontal lines, uh, lines click on that and then go to preferences and then go to advanced and then router mode you need to change this router mode as you can see if these site domains site domains routing mode will use local site domain and allow https which does not work for us so localhost routing is less prone to conflict but does not support http so uh, we will uh, select localhost Okay, don't forget to do this before you start to install your uh, WordPress. After selecting localhost, click on apply. And then at this point, click on cancel button. Now, our setup is ready uh, done for us. What we do is we will create a site here. Okay, it says what is your site name. So our site name is WP to say WordPress tutorial it has an advanced option at the bottom create a file from blueprint yes we'll select uh, do not use a blueprint you have to select it we click on continue now here also it says choose your environment you can use a pre a preferred or a custom one Custom one that means you will select everything your database, your web server, and PHP version. But I go with preferred one. So click on continue. The third part is set up your WordPress. That means when you create your WordPress website, you have uh, to enter your WordPress username and your, uh, your password in order to access the uh, WordPress dashboard. So for that, uh, our username is just say root root and password is also root we don't go further you can put uh, any email address here is my email address and then here is also an advanced option uh, is this a wordpress multiple site no it is not a multiple site so click uh, just make sure it is no if it's multiple site you can click on uh, uh, yes or something like that then if you uh, finish this one add a site as you can see uh, our installation and our setup wordpress website is completed and then it says uh, wp tutorial it is the name of our website if you go down to wordpress version the installed version is 5.21 and it says update to 5.83 you can update it uh, doesn't matter but you can go even if you want with 5.2 
uh, 5.21 before we see our websites on uh, a browser uh, let us see some things which uh, you can do with this uh, part you can stop site here uh, this is a stop site and you can stop it like this click on this it will stop the site that means uh, this site will not work uh, uh, locally so you can start here uh, you can click on start here and then your site will be uh, live on a local uh, local computer the other is stop all if you are, I have only one site running here at the bottom as you can see if I have uh, if you I want to make or uh, if I want to create more website you can click on add here you can start to enter your the first step will be repeated here will What's your uh, website name and something we then before will be added here uh, but we don't want that one to happen now this is used to stop if you have more than one website this is one website if if there are another website you created they are listed here and then you can stop this with this button by the same time this is uh, the second one the third one is uh, we have uh, two buttons here the admin part and the open site button the admin will take you to the uh, wordpress admin dashboard where you start to create a page uh, create a post and uh, do everything uh, that wordpress uh, uh, offers you and the, the, the second one is the open site if you click on this it will take you to the uh, to your wordpress homepage where you see as a visitor so uh, uh, let's uh, start to uh, see uh, what they can take to us uh, both of two the first one is the admin part let us click on that yeah this is uh, the admin area of our wordpress this uh, admin area that means uh, you will insert your username or you have already created during the setup of local software the password so the username is by default is root and also the password is root and then click on login here this takes us to the admin dashboard as you can see it is a wordpress dashboard or admin dashboard where you uh, navigate to everything the wordpress offers us as you can see wordpress 5.83 is available you can update it from here or you can update it from the local software event itself this is uh, very interesting you can create pages by clicking on this you can create posts by click on this you can install plugins uh, you think this one uh, also you can uh, customize uh, and also you can uh, do uh, different settings uh, here in the settings sections of uh, the wordpress uh, everything uh, what can be done in the wordpress can be done here locally on your computer uh, let's back the second part is the open site when you click on this it will take you your uh, wordpress uh, homepage you will find a website similar to this uh, when you uh, first created a WordPress locally on your computer. Uh, from here even, you can go to the dashboard, you can uh, find themes, widgets, and menus, even you can customize your site depending on actually uh, the theme installed. Also here is uh, updates, if there is any update, you will find it here, you can click here and you can update uh, themes, plugins, and everything you need. And then here is a new, if you want to create a new post, uh, a new media, a new page, or a new user, here is for you. Uh, you can start from this. And uh, if you want to go to the uh, dashboard, uh, we already previously see it. You can access it uh, from here. As you can see, it is very, very fast. It does not need uh, internet connection. It runs locally. With this, uh, uh, we end our today's tutorial. Uh, on creating WordPress locally using local software. I really encourage you if you subscribe, uh, share, and also comment uh, in, uh, to my videos. And also, uh, I start to uh, create uh, tutorials on WordPress, which will help you and also which makes you uh, to develop WordPress uh, easily. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for, for that uh, thank you bye, -bye.